I can tell you one thing, man. I am the man. I will take the tank over my body. You will see my dead body and alive. As the Indians step up their pressure, the panic increases, and the hotel welcomes more refugees. Colonel, is there any question of a surrender yet, do you know? Would you know? No, no, my no, no surrender. Yeah, there's no question of it. You, no you, question you know for sure, no question. No question of any surrender. That what General Nyazi has been saying still stands. He means it. To the last man. He means it. And you mean it with him or all of, course, all of you behind everyone. him? Everyone. The Indian Army is in Bangladesh. Your Air Force has been destroyed. You are surrounded on all sides. And if you don't surrender, you will be killed unmercifully. <laughs> Their first target is the radio station, just down the road from the hotel. Some of them want to shoot their way in, despite the fact that there's no resistance. But for the moment, a semblance of Mukti Bahini law and order prevails. Unofficially, the birth of the new nation is proclaimed when the Bangladesh flag is raised over the radio station. On the reflection, would you say that the truth is that you really didn't have a chance in the very beginning of the war, once there was a war started? I am not willing to give any interview, please. Sir, you are at liberty Honestly, not to say anything. See, um... No. I mean, that's I can talk to you. Just a second, a little later. At the moment, some ceremony is to go on. <laughs> By now, General Niazi cannot hide the humiliation he so deeply feels. Rock to Lal, Rock to Lal, Rock to Lal.